If you're anything like us, you have both a savings account and a whole life insurance policy. But which one is better? My name is Darius. And I'm Carmen. In this video, we hope to share with you the benefits of both so that you can make an informed decision on determining how you house your money. Right. And the easiest thing for us to get is a savings account. Reason being is we can just go to the bank and say we have $25 and we want to open up a savings account. Now, there's a couple caveats to having a savings account versus a checking account, which we know very, very uh dearly <laughs> is if you do more than about six transactions in that savings account within a month, then they're going to say you have a checking account <laughs> and they're going to switch it. They're going to switch it. <laughs> and, and what we want to do first and foremost is just making sure that you understand or that you comprehend what is a savings account. So a savings account is an account where you store capital, mm -hmm. right? We think of that as like your excess capital, some of your discretionary income, any money that you are not putting towards expenses, whatever is left over usually after you pay yourself first, right? So you pay yourself first and then whatever's left, you can save the, the money. Now, the savings account is just an account where you put money. And really what it does, it just ends up laying dormant and becomes kind of like this passive thing that's just out there on an island in your whole grand scheme of this banking system. You have a checking account that money's coming in and out every single day and your savings account is just floating out there. And what we want you to recognize is that when you have money in a savings account, you're not earning any money. Well, okay, I, I get everybody in the comments and it's going to say you earn compound interest. Yes. And as of 2024, the, the interest that's being paid to you at the bank really isn't much, <laughs> right? Right. So the, the idea behind this is if you have money in an account where you can earn compound interest, why not try to make as much compound interest as you possibly can and not just settle for the bare minimum and have an account that's not providing you any other features than just having access to your capital and that's it. So the question I want to ask you is, do you think that someone who literally has a million dollars of discretionary income right now is going to take that million dollars and just sit it in a savings account? The answer I would assume is no, because if they have a million dollars of cash, they want to keep a million dollars moving. So they're not just going to sit it in a savings account. So the question is, what if there are other financial tools out there that you can utilize that maybe you're not aware of? Yes, you can. There's another option for you. Let's say you have 20 thousand dollars sitting inside of your savings account you can take those funds and buy a whole life insurance policy and you'll have access to cash value and you'll have death benefit mm -hmm. now the death benefit piece of this process is recognizing that you don't have a death benefit in your savings account like we said right in a savings account it's just a place to store some capital now by just moving your money to a different financial tool you have access to cash that accumulates inside your policy so you can use the cash when it makes sense for you to invest and like Darius said you have a death benefit and already just by moving money you've made a difference in what your money is doing for you right now there's we talk about some differences, but there's also a lot of similarities between a savings account and a whole life insurance policy. Sure. The fact being that that money is just sitting there um, mm -hmm. as, as far as we understand. Mm -hmm. Now, the difference is in how we access it. It's much easier for us to access our savings account, which is a perk for the savings account. And we have to wait a little a little time before we are able to borrow money from our life insurance policy. And on top of that, we have to pay interest on that. But one of the benefits, the biggest benefit we get is the fact that we have a death benefit that is significantly more than what our money is able to get us by it just sitting inside of our savings account. Now you may say Carmen and Darius whenever I access the funds from the life insurance company I have to pay interest where I didn't have to do that in my savings account well when it comes to our savings account and accessing those funds it is much easier you just ball going and you just use the money <laughs> simple simple <laughs> simple however the conversation that we want to have is that whenever we uh, use those funds, the small amount of interest, even though a small amount, we're still able to earn some interest on those funds. And as soon as we use it, it's no longer there where we can still continue to, to use it. Mm -hmm. It's we gone. Have, it's gone. There's no interest to earn interest on. Right. So basically what that is, is that's disturbing the compound interest or the growth um, inside of our savings account. Now, on the other hand, when it comes to our life insurance policy, we're able to use our life insurance policy as collateral saying, hey, I have this life insurance policy with said company. I want to use that as collateral to borrow from the insurance company because I have cash value. 
I am able to borrow money from the insurance company, which means that my money is still in my life insurance policy undisturbed. My death benefit is undisturbed. And unless I pass away with an outstanding loan, I still will be able to grow money undisturbed inside my life insurance policy which is not the case when it comes to the other tool of having our savings account at a bank. So the overarching theme that we're sharing in this video is we are solving two problems. The first problem is we need access to capital. And the second one is we want coverage for our income. And that's where whole life insurance allows us to do both things at the same time with a savings like environment, right? So we're not completely replacing the savings account. We get that. But what we're just showing you is another option because what I said before in the beginning is if you have a savings account, that money is usually sitting dormant. It's not doing anything, right? And only if you need the funds are you using it. And usually more often than not, if you're saving responsibly, you're not really tapping into your savings account. So the idea is why not just move that money over to a life insurance policy? When you need the access to capital, you can get access to it. But when you borrow from it, allow your money to continue to earn that undisturbed compound interest aside from what would happen with a savings account. Right. And what the reason why we like to borrow money from our life insurance policies is because we finance every single thing that we do. And the fact that we finance every single thing that we do, why not be strategic with how we finance our lifestyle? And have more ownership and visibility in the process. Exactly. Now, one little simple thing that we didn't mention is how life insurance companies are regulated versus the banks. Now, our banks are going to be regulated on a federal level, which means they are able to do something called fractional reserve banking, <laughs> which means that that's they a whole can, other video. That's a whole other video. <laughs> but they're able to lend out actually more money than they have, which means if a number of people come to the bank and ask for their money, they're not going to be able to give it to them and they'll have to get bailed out by the insurance company. <laughs> So why not just Go work figure. with the insurance company? So on the other <laughs> hand, we have the life insurance company that is ran by the state, which means that they have significantly more regulation and they have to have all the money that they say they have on hand. Mm -hmm. So there can't necessarily be a run on the insurance company or if there's a run on the insurance company, that means everybody in the insurance company that's insured passes away. They can do that and some and still continue to maintain their business. Mm -hmm. Now, this wasn't to scare you, but it's just to make sure that you need to have more tools in your tool belts than just focusing on one thing. There's no rule that says that you can't have more than one tool in your tool belt. Mm -hmm. So leverage those tools that you have access to so that in the event we need to call on a tool, we have it mm -hmm. and we're aware of it and we know how to use it and we understand it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, Wealth Nation, with this information, if you are interested in getting a policy or speaking to an agent and understanding your options, please click on the link below. We would love to serve you with our team of amazing agents, including Darius and myself, so we can make sure that we solve your financial goals using life insurance. Remember to own your own lifestyle or someone else will.